questions et commentaires, l'honorable... Questions and comments, the honorable member for beauport Limoilou. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, once upon a time, Quebecers and conservatives who voted conservatives could were could be ensured that uh, government uh, autonomy would be respected and that governments wouldn't meddle in provincial affairs. And yet, conservatives voted against our motion, calling on the government not to meddle in provincial affairs and to allow for and to allow provinces to withdraw from federal programs with full compensation so that uh, redundant spending would not occur. Could the honourable member help me to square that circle and uh, tell us what he would do to prevent government interference? Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. And I uh, fundamentally believe that uh, we're here in Ottawa. The federal government has a role to play uh, in uh, assisting the provinces, uh, but the provincial jurisdictions, uh, uh, you know, clearly must be respected. Uh, and I can tell you that our leader respects provincial jurisdiction, will work with the premiers of every province in order to sure, ensure that we have a confederation that is functioning and united, not divided like this Prime Minister has a tendency to do, divide us along regional lines, race lines, faith lines, gender lines, the health status of your neighbour, and now by creating a new class war, another reason to divide people. I believe that if we're going to have a functioning confederacy, we need a Prime Minister that respects not just provincial jurisdiction, uh, but also uh, works with the provinces and provincial leaders as well.